ready to go. The grand finale of Short Track Saturday night. Off they go, Larry Schuler, your leader, caught the wall off of two a little bit, took her a little high and wide. Swan back to the inside of Schuler, they battle for the lead. Larry Schuler trying to keep it ahead. Swan battles, Bickle third, Nottestad and Kaler side by side. They touch and they detach up front. Swan in second, Dale Nottestad up into third. Looking to the inside, now here's Bickle back to the outside of Dale Nottestad. Race one winner, Austin Nason in fifth already in the 14. Larry Schuler is high, wide, and handsome as he can be. Leading him, Tony Strupp around, it turns one and two, and he yellows out. Tried to get it going, but it just ain't gonna happen. So Tony Strupp gets it around, gets it back going, he'll tag the end of the line. Three he complete high through. and at 30. We'll see if he can keep the pace way up on the rim. Richie Bickles got the open shot on the bottom. He's your overall point leader coming into the finale. Bickle for the lead to the inside of Schuler. Richie Bickle looking for the lead. Here's your leader, Bickle. Schuler backs up to second. Nottestad and Kaler on the bottom. Everybody else up top. Steve Ruback going for fifth. Swan working on Schuler. Austin Nason, race one winner, trying to move ahead. Ruback in the fifth ahead of Dale Nottestad. Schuler wiggles a little bit as he caught Swan, and they all catch out of four. And they separate. Nottestad will get the worst of that. Everybody keeps going. April sideways, saved in front of Jim Olsen. Michael Bilderback makes a move on that one of the two cars. Bickle getting away, trying to seal the deal with the overall. Top two qualifiers, one and two right now. Swan third, Nason to the inside, racing hard. Swan holds third. Rubeck in fourth, fifth rather, gets a bump from Max Kaler. Rubeck, Kaler, Geiler, Nottestad, all bumper to bumper. Here comes Michael Builder back. 35 to go for Rich Bickle. Jake looks for six to the inside of Kaler. Austin Nason ahead of them in fourth, trying to get to Swan, who's still working on Larry Schuler. Nason to the inside of James Swan for third. They all bump second through fourth. Nason got to run on the inside. Ten away from halfway. Oh, Guiley and Kaler hit hard off the floor to keep it going. Out of step over Kaler, Builder back on the way. Michael Builder back on the charge from the tail end. Bickle still your leader. Oh, they are really beating and banging in the middle of the field right now. Builder back going after Max Kaler for seven. to go for Richie Bickle in the 45. Holds about a half a straightaway lead on Larry Schuler. Austin Nason on second to the inside of Schuler. It turns one and two. Harry's hard down the back shoot. Nason grinds in the second. Swan will probably get the third. Schuler will try and hold stand in the third and fourth. A lap around Al Schill. Race for third. Swan and Schuler have been in each other's pockets the whole race. Larry Schuler back to third. Dale Donestead off the pace. Donestead off the pace of the two car. Schuler way up the hill. 
again. Be 15 to go, Austin Mason. Make it 25 to go, Austin Mason pulls it up on Richie Bickle. Jake Kiley under siege from Michael Builder back for six. Two away from halfway, here comes Mason. Schuler is settled into third in the 30 car. Swan fourth, Rubeck fifth. Builder back all over Jake Kiley for six. It's time by, 23 up, 22 to go. Halfway for Richie Bickle. Builder back into six. Michael Builder back past Jake Kiley. That two car is fast tonight. Twenty to go. They left by Al Schill. They'll come up upon the back end of Tony Struff in the 12 car. Struff will get low. Bickle will get around him. Schuler up the hill and one. Swan wasn't ready to take a peek. Schuler holds third. Michael Builder back trying to race up the fifth of the two car. Taylor and Jake Kiley trade barb. Steve Abel comes on through. Mason has caught Bickle a little bit. Coming up on 15 laps to go. It is Bickle and it is Nason, free and clear of the group. Schuler holds third, James Swan fourth. Steve Rubeck has solidly been fifth the whole time. For a pretty physical first race, the second race has settled down. 14 to go, can the 14 catch the 45? Swan looking to the inside for third again on Larry Schuler. Here comes Ruback in the 61 car, up on the back end of Swan. Three cars for third, fourth, and fifth in a turn one. Schuler way high again in two, but Swan again one there. Down to four car lengths for the lead as Nason closes on Bickle. They'll come up upon Schill and Shrupp once again. Schill's going in. Now Schill's night is done. Here comes Austin Nason. 35 score, 10 to go. Shrupp all the way. They might get to Bennett too before it's all said and done. Still four car lengths, make it three. And as Nason closes up again to the 45 of Bickle. Nine to go. Swan for third to the inside of Schuler. Builder back, close it up on Ruback. Eight to go. Taylor and April getting up in that top five rumble too. Strupp will get low for the leaders, I believe. A lap around Tony Strupp. Seven to go for Bickle and Nason. Up the hill, Schuler. Here comes Swan once again. Six to go for Bickle. Schuler again holds third somehow in that 30 car. Here comes Steve Rue back to the back end of James Swan. Five laps to go for Richie Bickle. Kaler now battling Builder back for six. Max Kaler on the back end of Michael Builder back, they touch. Swan again all over Schuler. Four to go for the leaders. Third through about eighth jousting, about a half a track behind the leaders. Throw back to the inside of Swan, who peeks to the inside of Schuler. They touch and get out of it. Three to go. 
My, oh my, how the gloves are off again. Leaders at three and four, trying to finish it off. Sure, in the third place group will clap past Strzok. Two laps to go for Richie Bickle. Rubek working on Swan again for four. Kaler all over the two of Builder back for six. White flag, one to go for Richie Bickle. One to go for Bickle. Can he do it? Mason's closing the gap. Schuler trying to hold third. Richie Bickle will do it. Ahead of Austin Mason. Larry Schuler is going to hold on to third. Rubek fifth behind Swan. Well, there you have it. And I think that's going to put a bow on the overall for the 45 as well. We'll talk here. We'll bring him up to the step and talk to him. Because I think he's going to have a lot of trophies to hold here in a couple minutes. Well, it's between one of them two guys for the overall, I do believe. How about that super late model racing? I tell you, it looks different under the lights, don't it? Love it. Taking the victory lap one last time here at the Rock Speedway in his 45th and final year behind the wheel of a super late model and a stock car in general. One more time in a race kind of name for him, and he does it. And he might have done the whole thing, too. There he is. Still giving you a lap to turn four. Give him a baby four. That is awesome. He might not quit going. <laughs> Keep with the Polish victory lap here. We'll get him out, then we'll get him up here on the step and talk to him, and then get him down to victory area. There he comes. Two-time national short track champion. Five-time snowball derby champion. He's going there one more time in December. And he brings the T1 Racing Windsor Pizza Parlor 40 to victory lane one more time at the Rockford Speedway. The winner of the second twin 45 getting a handshake from Austin Nason who won the first 45. I'm sure it's going to be an emotional one. He may talk all night. I've talked for five hours. He can talk. He's out of the car, Richie Bickle! Come on up here on the step. Over here. Turn around. Mike works over here. That's fine. I got the steps for you and everything. Oh, my goodness. You wanted to run here one more time before you called it quits on your career. There you go. A lot of well-wishers here. We'll get them out here. We'll get everybody out. It's fine. We'll get them out. We'll talk to Richie Bickle, your winner. Give him a big hand, Richie Bickle. All right. I'm going to pray this microphone works up here. My goodness. It, I just let you talk. you got to be feeling a zillion emotions right now. Well, these guys work tails off. I mean, the car was really good in practice. We qualified good. Car raced really good in the second race. First race was really tight. But, uh, you know, we made some changes. I actually think the race broke. Um, and we, Tony fixed it somehow. And we finished the race. So sometimes you got to have some luck to win. That's right. You can be fast, but you need that luck too. That's for sure. How fun was this tonight, man? How fun was this? Well, I got to thank Jad, or Brad Miller for putting this show on for me. And then he sold his car and couldn't come race with us. Really? Yeah, that really makes me mad because I, I run into Mitch Sling and he was madder than hell at me. And we all, you know, we talked about it. And, and, uh, but for him to do this for me and, and Pete from Crazy Times, you know, everybody involved, I mean, this is special. Very special. And like I say, you know, for you, you've talked about it. Most people know. Of all the things you've done in all the 45 years, this is one of the places it started. Got to be cool to park it in victory lane at Rockford one more time. 
Well, I know that I'm glad there's no infield, no infield left right here, because in 1990 I took a bite out of the race. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Tom Hardy, is that correct? He is your overall winner of the Twin 45s as well, second quickest. And in a win, it was close. That Nason kid, boy, he drove his tail off too. I'll tell you that first race, the people don't like that. I mean, <laughs> we're bouncing off each other three wide sideways, banging, ho hooking each other in the right rear. And I actually ran out of brakes. And uh, last eight late laps, I was hanging on to all I had. And it just, you know, I love this place. Grew up here as a kid. Yep. My first rock and roll concert was right here off the stage. <laughs> See pictures of tonight, and I'm telling you what, there had to have been 15,000 people here. <laughs> Rock on, Ted Nugent. There you go. How about it for Richie Bickle, a winner one more time at Rockford Speedway, and the overall winner now of the Twin 45s here tonight. We'll get Richie and everybody into the victory area here, too. Big hand for Austin Nason, also winner of the first 45. How about those super late model racers? Was that a lot of fun to watch or what? <laughs>